In the last video, we have built a workflow in UiPath Studio to calculate the sum of all values in the amount pay column. If you missed the last video, please check out the video link in the description below. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can populate the total in the last cell of the column. This is a previous workflow that we have built to calculate the sum of all values in the amount pay column. The next activity we need is to write that amount into the last cell of amount pay column. So we need an activity called write cell. So this activity will write the input value into the cell specified. By default, it is the first cell, but we are going to change it to the last cell of amount pay column. So let's put the input value first, which is the sum of amount. And make sure it is string. And next step, it is to find out the column letter and the row index of the last cell of the amount pair column, which is D10. First, we will find the column index of amount pair column. We'll get the assign activity and we'll create a variable called column index and make sure the variable type is integer and we'll, we'll find the columns index of amount paid. So now we have the column index. We need to convert this index into column letter. How are we going to do it? We'll have another assign activity. And now we will create a new variable called column letter. And we will use this expression, Excel helpers, Excel utilities, convert column index to column letter. And then we will pull in the column index, which is the variable we have just created. And because the index starts from one, however, the column letter starts from zero. So we need to add one to our column index. So now we have the column letter. Let's just double check we have the correct column letter. We will output this into a message box. And I'll disable this activity first. Because we just want to make sure we have the correct letter. So we have column letter D, which is the correct letter for amount pay column. So we are all good with the column letter. We will next need the row index. Let me enable this activity. The next activity is another assign activity. And now we need last row.
how we're going to get the last row, we will first need to get the number of rows in the column. So first we'll get the row count. And because we want to get the last row, we'll plus two because the first row is the header and then we want to output the value in the row after the last row. So we have to plus two. Okay, we have to convert this to string as well. Okay, now we have both column letter and last row. The next step is to replace this cell to the cell that we want to output the value to. So we will use column letter plus last row. So now we have the correct cell that we want to write the value to. Let's just run the workflow to see whether we we'll get the value into the correct cell. Oh, forget to disable the message box, but it's okay. Let's go to the Excel file. Voila, we have the value in the last cell. And let's double check. And it's the correct total amount. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching today. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more automation tips and tricks. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. For any questions or feedback, leave a comment below or reach out through our social media channels. Until next time, keep automating and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.